Great googly moogly, YouTube! Thralls of Metal are back with a spooktacular Halloween edition. I'm Rin. Miller. McCrock Heck. Jim and John. And we're gonna bring to you a conversation about horror film. Yes, and a debate, too. It's gonna be the Thralls of Metal official top five horror movies all time. And we have a guest thraller today. The one and only Amadeus Cavalera. What's up, buddy? How are you guys doing? Good, good, good. man. Good. How's, uh, how's things been going? I know you're uh, preparing for a tour here. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, uh, I'm ready to, to do some shows, play some music, see some friendly faces and stuff like that again. It's been a long year, uh, I think, for all of us, but for mu musicians especially. So, yeah, it's, it, I'm ready to... I'm ready to go. I'm bouncing off the walls already. Cabin <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fever, man. I hear it. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, Thrallers, we are coming up with the definitive top five horror movies of all time. Now, we've all individually did our homework or our, racked our brain to think of it, but five? here it is. We have to debate. And five is a rough because I was going through it. You got like That's, a million. I got yeah. a million. That's like trying to pick like top five bands. Like, yeah. how it know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I came up with about 15 easily, and then I, I actually went back and watched a lot of them to, to sit there and be like, is this really, like, top five, you know, or am I just uh, putting on the nostalgia glasses, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. You know I, I'm taking this seriously for sure. Yeah, so you probably went through the same thing we all did. It's like the separate genres of horror, like sci-fi, like yeah. Alien. For instance, is it a horror movie? Is it yes, science fiction? It is. But yes, Alien is definitely a horror movie. But the general idea of that yeah. kind of thing, Event Horizon, would maybe be a better oh, that's, example because that's a thriller horror. It's kind Hellraiser of, and The Shining in space. It, that movie's yeah. awesome. But does it make a horror well, movie? List, <laughs> you know. So I know for me, it's like, what movies do I watch regularly? Yeah. Yeah. Or another one for me was like, did it have an impression on real life too? Like, did it did it give me an irrational fear of something? Like, you know, if it kind of moves past, like, oh, it's just a movie. To like, uh, no, I'm kind of scared of that now. Jaws, Jaws sure. did that to me. Yep, yep. sure. Fuck the ocean. Fuck the <laughs> right? entire ocean. I'm not getting in it. Uh, I grew up in in Phoenix, and I thought Jaws would be in the pool in our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that movie wrecked me, and I saw that real early on, so I've been a pussy about the ocean for a long time now. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, that was back in the 80s. Yeah. Somewhat irrational, you know. <laughs> it could happen. I mean, it could. Yes. A bird I mean, man killing you in your dreams might not happen. Shark, probably going to happen, I think. Yeah, but I mean, the guy in the dreams is, I think, equally as scary, because you don't... At least for me, when I saw that movie initially, Nightmare on Elm Street, it it screwed me up for a long time. Long yeah, time. Well, you don't you don't even want to go to sleep after you watch that. No, Usually, yeah, sleep is the the escape after the horror movie. <laughs> yeah. No, the uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street ruined that for all of us. I'm sure you oh, can't yeah. do anything. Right? Horror movies have gotten into every facet of life. I feel like you you're scared of most things now because of them. You know. Right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Even though I've never watched Final Destination all the way through, I was I was behind a, a, a truck on the expressway the other day that had um, a, a bunch of, of tree limbs in it, and it didn't look like they were tied down like whatsoever. It's going right through the windshield. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this guy. I am merging lanes. Yeah, no, I think <laughs> Final Destination is one of those ones that like brought it into like a real life kind of way where they took inanimate things and they took just weird sort of chain of events that lead into some horrible thing happening to you and uh for for someone like me like i'm a just, just an overthinker over and mm -hmm. I, I like horror and stuff, stuff like, like that. that i got an over active over active imagination you know um that movie just made everything terrifying it can make a garbage disposal terrifying or a, a trash can or anything you know like <laughs> if you think about it yeah seriously yeah it's like no that's gonna fall and that's gonna trigger this and this and, this, and then i'm gonna die right and then we're gonna be dead uh -huh. i'm yeah. just not leaving my bedroom <laughs> and the cool thing about that movie it was really the the first i think situational horror like you were saying it's just all situational and chain of events very butterfly effecty type of thing which uh you know that movie didn't make my list but, yeah it but didn't make mine still, either but I, it was one that i thought of 
Um, but the only thing that they made like, look supernatural about it was like the shadow. Like you'd see like the yeah. shadow of death, oh, and that yeah, was yeah. it. But everything else yeah. was just stuff happening. Mm -hmm. stuff wrong place. <laughs> wrong that was pretty much time. it. So what's what's what do you have as your number five? Let's That's go number there. five. Let's start. Oh, we had to rank them. See, I didn't even. Oh know. yeah, oh, top five. Oh, oh fucking well, hell! I, yeah, I thought we were hey, just gonna top talk five. about shit. We're so. ranking this. Top five. Oh, oh man, dude. We're getting what do you do? We do the, we're the ranking, guys. We do the well, ranks. Well, right, but yeah, I didn't. Oh. Okay. Well, oh, dude. <laughs> at number five, I put the Lost Boys. Lost so Boys. Might be surprised by that. I know. I know. It does have like some comedic notes and and. Uh, you know, there, there's so much like 80s-esque novelty and stuff like that, like Tim Capello and, <laughs> and um, Lost Boys. Boys, all that stuff. But I, I think at the root of it, it's a it's a really uh, violent, dark story, honestly. Um, and for me as a kid, um, you know, I was born in the 90s, you know, grew up then, early 2000s. So um, I had older brothers who would show me like 80s movies and, and 70s movies and stuff like that. So... Uh, you might notice a lot of mine are a bit more retro before I was even born, to be honest. Um, but they're just ones that I loved. And for me, like, Lost Boys was great because it took, like, to me, it took rock and roll and, like, punk rock almost, you know, and just, like, the, the aesthetic and the vibe of it and mashed it with, like, violence and gore and, and even supernaturalness and stuff like that. Um, so to me... Uh, like that movie just just really caught me as a kid. Like I I have written here like that bathtub scene. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. that was insane. The the death by stereo scene. Um, <laughs> Every you know, musician's like, worst nightmare. Yeah, right? yeah you know it, 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 that movie. Despite some of the I guess lighter tones of it or whatever or, or comedic tones of it, it has some really dark stuff and i always thought of it as a horror movie so that's my number five right yeah I, I would agree okay. the, the whole when they raid the the other gang at dusk or at night yeah it, like there's a the, dick gets his like it's yeah. head peeled yeah. back it's, it's, it's like that's gore that's legit yeah. gore yeah <laughs> and i, so, like, I didn't I, even I, think I, about that movie really, really. Uh, but now that you mention it, like, yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah. I'd say I, that's a horror movie. Dude, I haven't watched that movie in, in, oh, dude, that's, in that's, that's, Sutherland look like a badass. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's like Joel Schumacher's, probably his best film. I mean, unfortunately, yeah. I, I remember that's, too much of the Batman and Robin yeah, shit. Yeah, me too, unfortunately. Yeah. No, I think Lost Boys was a little bit better than those, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but no, no I mean, it, not to mention, uh, like, I had even taken notes on the cast of Lost Boys. Like, you had both the Corys. Yep. Uh, yep. You, you had, like, Alex Winter, Jamie Gertz, Edward Herman. Like, there's a lot of really famous people, actually. Kiefer Sutherland, I can't yeah. forget him. Jason um, Patrick. You, yeah. you yeah. know, there was, there was, like, famous bigger names on that movie. Um, yeah, that was kind it was of a strange one for didn't him. really do horror either, which made it interesting in that sense it's almost like they're they're kind of outside of their element a little bit like having fun with it and stuff so um yeah no, i'll never get tired of watching that movie and that's actually one of my dad's favorite movies too I know. it's a great movie a lot of these are ones like me and me and him or, or me and my mom would watch like when i was growing up because that's kind of i don't want to say where i got my horror from but they were the ones that i sort of shared it with like as a kid sure yeah no i get that one <laughs> Yeah, my mom, uh, the first uh, time I came across horror movie, Nightmare on Elm Street, which makes my list at uh, number four, if we're getting to it. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, she had a uh, VHS. Yeah, I want to hear your guys' too. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Our we, rates we, compare. We all yeah. have to come up with a five. Yeah, we... we the, so, the, this is just the beginning. <laughs> but Nightmare on Elm Street, she, you know, you get the HBO free weekends or whatever. She would put the VCR tape and, like, record a bunch. She could fit, like, three or four movies on one of those tapes. And it was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 1, 2, and 3. And uh, they messed me up, like hardcore. Oh, Just, yeah. uh, the whole, you know, intrusion on your dreams when you're most vulnerable. And, uh, yeah, I had to sleep with the lights on for a long time. And uh, Still, he still... He he's still does. Adorable yeah. little nightlight. Right, right. But yeah, just the thought of, of someone entering your dreams and the visuals of that movie and the fact that it was taken so very seriously, whereas the later ones kind of get a little campy. And this is real deals. <laughs> well, I didn't even notice that's what that was. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah, on the camera, you could barely see it on the webcam, but yeah. 
Oh, that's badass. <laughs> I, uh, that was like one of those things, immediate buy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even think about it. They're not sharp, but they could be. Um, you I never know I'm... when you need a, a razor blade glove, you know? Middle of the yeah. night, yeah. home yeah. intruder, you know? Yeah, you never know. Trimming hedges, yeah. weeding. Petting a cat. Hey neighbor, you know? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Oh. oh. Uh, Kids were on my doing? lawn. For Rude. number five, I didn't put them in any damn order. I'm gonna go Please. with the shirt I'm wearing. Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. You ever seen that one? Nice. Yep. I know about Henry. Yeah. Uh, I actually know about Henry thanks to Nail Bomb. Yep, yep. Yeah. Hot yeah. Matches. <laughs> yep. And I, I saw the movie after I heard the record, and then I watched the movie, and I was like... That's the line from the thing! And, oh. It's that Leo meme where he's like pointing at you. Know, yeah, 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 he yeah. did the thing! <laughs> but yeah, Michael Rooker, Tom Towles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that movie is disturbing. It's so, you feel dirty after watching it. It's, oh, it's, yeah. just, it's dark, dingy, it's horrific mm -hmm. because it based on Henry Lee Lucas, so they, yeah. he might have done those things. Who knows? That's, That's true stories are always the worst. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that goes with some of the marketing, some of the bullshit movies like advertising as a true like Blair Witch Project that are really Amityville horror. Yeah. 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 Happened ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To that degree, I don't. I, I seriously doubt. But, yeah, but yeah, uh, what a what a what a you know to pick Michael Rooker, who's just kind of creepy anyway. He's a great. Like, actor. He just like, yep. Ugh. yeah. Yep. <laughs> like, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Movies. After he kills Otis and he's cutting his head off in the bathtub, and you just hear the, the squelching, the, and he just yeah. pulls out a head out of the bathtub and puts it in the sink. <laughs> That's where that goes. Yep, yeah. just cutting up a body. What are you doing? Hey, noises are just as much a part of horror movies as anything. I, yeah, I think noises are super important. So sometimes when you hear the the bone and the, the yeah, yeah, flesh yeah, yeah. getting. Yeah. Ripped yeah, apart, yeah. that's what makes you cringe and, uh, and uh, remember it, you know? <laughs> yeah, a Quiet Place did a good job on amplifying that aspect of horror. And, uh, you know, I thought the ring, in terms of sound and visuals... TV was it almost made my top yeah, five. when that girl crawls on the TV. Yeah, the ring almost yeah. made my top five. The ring yeah. messed me up. I was, yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, I was a kid during like the early 2000s. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, like the ring, Jeepers Creepers, a few of those actually almost made it into my list, but I I just went a little more retro, kept it true to my heart. But uh, right. but right. some of those early two thousands was had some amazing soundtracks and uh, yeah special effects, creatures like things like that. Um, the ring was one of them. The, the uh, like if you've ever seen that, I, yeah, I can't remember the, the name of that. The girl. body in the closet. Ooh. Yeah, that part too. <laughs> but. but yeah, no, like the stuff they did with some of that, uh, as technology got better and stuff was was in my opinion really good. Like I know some of those, um, you know, they like even Scream, you know, it'll get kind of dogged on, and Jeepers Creepers will get kind of dogged on sometimes. The first Scream was good. It was yeah. one of what they do personally. Um, but you know that that might be the whole thing. I mean, people like to dog on new metal and stuff like that too. But I, I, mean, I, we, I think we, it's all over. Yeah, everything's I, true. I, I whatever you're into. <laughs> you know, even my dad did a new metal album. Let's be yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, did it really, really. Right, really his was a good one. one. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Other ones for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I, I know some of those like that era of stuff for a lot of people nowadays likes to get dogged on, but I, I like a lot of it, uh, especially the ring like that, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember I actually went to see that in the movies with my mom too. and I was like messed up from it. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the TVs away. Just, yeah, just, I, don't, I don't want them. I quit. <laughs> yeah. Becoming a monk. Fuck this. So what would you have? If, I know you didn't rank. Yeah, we didn't. One, but if you had to pick I, a five, where is it? Because we got to do it. I got a five. You got a five? Got, I got a five. It? And actually it kind of ties in with the TVs and such. Poltergeist. Ah. Poltergeist oh, was, yeah. well, it still is one of my favorite movies. But yeah, the whole TV and, you know, the voices and the people coming out. That the, movie... The weird lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tangina. <laughs> that movie is, is interesting because it, it was one of the reasons the PG-13 ranking, you know, the rating came out. Yeah. Because, you know, they kind of pushed the limits of PG in there because yeah. 
At that point, it was like, oh, you can bring the kids go see a PG movie. And it was like, well, why do they run out shrieking from this movie? Yeah, I think that was the one that initiated it. And then when Indy and yeah. Jones. Yeah, Temple of Doom. Like, okay. Oh, the heart ripping scene. Have, yeah. <sighs> we got to have a 13. Kalima! But <laughs> it's well acted. The family, like, you really empathize with, but the special effects are nuts. And yeah, in terms of, like, the direction, I know it was, like, kind of all over the place because it was Spielberg, but it was also um, uh, Toby, Toby Hooper. Hooper. Yeah. And you can definitely see where their style is kind of batted a little bit. But yeah. overall, it's it's a great movie. It builds on suspense. The effects are wild. Yeah. And, and it's, it's real corpses were used in the movie. Yeah, yeah. They did not oh, tell Joe Bad Williams. Oh, yeah. And, and, and the water? Well, I know that. Those wow, were yeah. real bodies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. I, I have a new respect for that movie yep. now. Okay. I always liked it, definitely. But I, I did not know that uh, tidbit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that, that's uh, fucked up a little bit. Honestly... <laughs> The whole clown doll, like, I could not sleep with <laughs> any of, like, my stuffed animals looking at me. I was like, no, 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 uh-uh. Turn them around. Couldn't agree more. Dude, yeah. Uh, that, that's in my honorable mentions. It almost, it really was right there. Initially, when I was thinking that Poltergeist was on there. I think people would kind of discount because it was a PG movie. It was like, well, you know, it's, it's you know, it's really not that horror. It's like, yeah. no, watch it. It's... It's still creepy. And it's proof that there's creep in like a thriller aspect, like yeah. The Witch, um, a more recent one. That one yeah. is very slow burn, but oh my god, it messes with you. I liked The Witch. Yeah, my my wife and I watched that. I think last year during like quarantine or whatever, and we were both like locking the doors and stuff after. <laughs> yeah. Any type of movie could do that. That's what I like about it. You know, it, it's like you can watch a sci-fi movie. It does that. You can watch a more mystical slow burn like you said like the witch mm -hmm. kind of thing or you could watch this uh full-fledged slasher like terrifier or something and, and i think because horror affects you know up here mm -hmm. that you have the same reactions despite the differences in the style or whatever that's one of the things i love about the genre yeah, yeah no it's such a it, it's such an open-ended like you know just universe or whatever you know you can you can do anything with it that's definitely what gravitated me towards it and, and towards starting to write and even uh, make songs that have like horror influences and things like that. Cause there's, you know, there's so many different things you could do with it. Yeah. Yep. So John five, Shit. <laughs> come on, give us one. Um, put one out of left field. The, the 1408 with John Cusack. Oh. That's oh, wow. That dude, movie. That yeah, movie, like that dude, that movie is creepy on so movie. many levels. And they're, they're all the cool. crap that happens in that hotel room, the visuals, it's it's almost like a psychedelic trip, mm -hmm. the crap that happens. And then and then the end where that body runs through the, the, the yeah, vent yeah. work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's a Stephen King one as well. Yeah. 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 Um, right. I, I'm like a Stephen King warship. That dude is, is my idol. Um, so yeah, I, I actually, that's, I think that's top five worthy for sure. That, uh, it's funny that you mentioned the psychedelic cause, uh, right when I saw that movie to me, it, it was like doing acid or something. It, it was like, cause I would switch, you know, he said, he's like, I think there's one scene where he's like in a scorching room and then it's like freezing yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. and then stuff like that. Uh, I really like cause it, it, you know, it puts you in the place of just like that psychosis or yep, whatever yep, and just yep, that yep. like absolute madness of what is going on and yep yep uh yep. but without being too over the top as well like the, yeah, the yeah. structured movie and uh everything so i that's a good call yeah, i actually cool. kind of forgot about yeah. that movie yeah. the whole part where yeah. you think he escapes and then everything is yeah right right, right. Like, he thinks he gets turns. out of there and it Dude, turns out he's never left i yeah. felt that mm -hmm. fucking scene i was like mm -hmm. oh my god or when he looks at the clock and it's been you know after it's been an hour and some change and he looks at the clock and it's like two minutes have passed yeah, like, what yeah. Dude, i almost forgot it. that's like a really good ending. Yeah. it's like a, yep. an yeah. ending like the mist which totally ruined that movie i was like total i was like no oh, no <laughs> i love it i love it, I, love it. I was like Dude. This movie, fuck this movie. No, I don't. Turn this shit off. That's, no, that's, I love fuck it. Fuck a Hollywood ending. Fuck it. Because that's not how the book ends. The, the no. book ends just like, they just kind of go off in the mist and yeah. who knows what happened. But no, yeah. I loved it. Oh, Take oh, that, kids. That, that hurt me so bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I felt that one. But oddly, it didn't make my list. But I didn't think about it initially. Yeah. Uh, I was like kind of brainstorming with my brother, shooting ideas back with him and... 
uh, just because you know you watch so many damn movies, yep. it's like <laughs> even fourteen oh eight. Like yeah, I right. think that yeah. that could have been close uh, to making a list. I've always held on to that one. That's a good that one. movie. Yeah, it's a good one. That movie it's got me. Underrated. And Sam Jackson's in it. Yep. And Sam Jackson. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I got number five at Evil Dead. Nice. Not necessarily the scariest movie, but again, going back to what do I watch? Right. All the time. Yeah. I, yeah. Evil Dead. It's. I I, I love. You can't go wrong. Movie. No. Yeah. It, that's cold oh. cinema right there. Yeah. And I, I think too. I think if you know, I hadn't already been desensitized by a lot by the time I saw <laughs> Evil Dead. Like, it might have been different. But I mean. Yeah. yeah. Just. I think a little bit. I, There's just some scary yeah, shit in that movie, though. Uh, like. The particular scene where she's like in the basement, mm-hmm. poking mm-hmm. her head up and out, that that visual always kind of got me when I was younger. Um, I think the thing with Evil Dead too is it's like it, maybe it's not the scariest, but it was so influential. Yep. I love yeah. that. That's my favorite one. It really revolutionized that like B horror yeah, style right. where it doesn't even necessarily need to be that good that's what makes it good mm-hmm. it, it's kind of rough around the edges it's a little you know yeah, undefined. For, me, for me it brought the light to the genius that is bruce campbell so yes. yeah. yeah yeah it just squirt all the blood on bruce campbell's face yeah. Yeah. <laughs> give him a chance all hand groovy oh, he's, a, he's a legend for mm-hmm. sure <laughs> bubba hotep oh my god dude. <laughs> That was a good one too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number four, Rin. I uh, see. I don't know. Damn it. I guess we'll. <laughs> <laughs> you making me pick between my favorite children. <laughs> right. I'm. 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 See, I'm gonna throw out random ones because, like, the Evil Dead would be on my list, but we just talked about it, so. But it could still be on your list. That would make the final list. That would be sure. more ground to make the final list. Well, I'm gonna say. American Werewolf in London. Oh, that was almost that was one I mm. thought about doing, but I'm glad I didn't. Cause... It's it's another one where like it's funny, it's got funny parts yeah. and horrifying parts. Wow. Yes, <laughs> him turning into a wolf. Yeah. Him turning into a wolf, dude. Ridiculous. Yeah, and that was a uh, Baker. Yeah, yeah. That, yep. did that. Yep. Yeah, that dude. suit was incredible. The, the yep. Yeah, like, the suits in that oh, were all amazing. practical Special effects. Yep. Yeah, 100%. no CGI. That's awesome. Yeah, no, definitely better, better S effects and things like that. Uh, that yeah, that movie was great. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've seen that in ages. That's another uh, one I remember. Uh, my parents like showing me as a kid, and I was just kind of like, "Whoa, this is crazy!" You know, <laughs> that, that werewolf is still one of the freakiest looking werewolves uh-huh. in any yeah. werewolf movie. Yeah. We're not getting a dog, and they barely <laughs> show him, which is kind of cool. That's what makes it yeah. scary too. Is yeah. what you don't just play it up. Yeah. 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 When you see those teeth, though, like, uh-huh. well, I'm fucked. Yep. Well, <laughs> nice knowing you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. The weird dream sequences, the the Nazi werewolf thing, like you know, you think it's like a normal scene. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is going on? And it was a uh, was it Jonathan Landis that did that, or uh, I don't no, know. Oh, it's oh, oh Landis. Yeah, yeah, Landis. Yeah, Landis. yeah, Landis. Yeah, he's not really like a yeah. horror director. Yeah, he did se. like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, yeah. and Uncle Bob. Did he also do oh, shit, the Thriller right. yeah, yeah, video yeah. though? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's a nice tongue in cheek. <laughs> Odd movie, like, because it totally shifts so fucking well. And his buddy, uh, not David, what's oh. his buddy? In it? Who he just keeps rotting throughout yep. the movie, getting worse and worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the makeup <laughs> effects were brilliant. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah no, once movie. again, ahead of its time, they still hold up to yep. this day yep. for sure. Yep. yep. <laughs> so, what would you, what is your number four? Uh, my number four is Phantasm. Oh, hmm. good one. Not to be mistaken with the pornographic film under the same title. <laughs> yeah, you'll have that. Wait, hold on. Uh, when did that one come Wikipedia out? taught me that. I didn't know. The same oh, the porn. I don't know. 79. Yep. 79. Yep. Yeah, 79 that came out, uh, directed by Don Dos- uh, Coscarelli. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, where to, where to start with this one? I mean, it's such a, like, bizarre, surreal mm-hmm. kind yeah. of vibe throughout it. Um, Angry Scrim, the tall man, is yep. like one of the most Boy. intimidating people to ever exist. Boy. Um, the the orb, you know, yep. the the yep. blade thing. Like I, I, you know, somebody 
I guess slashers and this and that were, you know, Jason Voorhees with a machete, uh, Freddy with his blades and this and that. And to me, that like floating magical orb of death was the like coolest weapon of any like killer that I could think of. Um, so that was always huge to me. And then I, I just love like how it starts as this like graveyard horror <laughs> movie. And then it like slowly turns into this weird interdimensional planetary like yeah, but I think, little, I think it, little dwarf slave. Yep, like, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super weird. And uh, evil, something evil. about that weirdness I really like. It's so original and there's nothing nothing else exactly like that, you know? So to no, me, it's no, almost its own, it's, it's, its own kind of horror and uh, is, is influential to me. Uh, my first book I did uh, called Killing My Insomnia is about a person who learns embalming and starts dealing with this demon and shit. And it's this crazy story, but it was very influenced by uh, Phantasm because of nice, just nice. the like morgue, morgue cemetery creepiness Ooh. kind of vibe um so yeah that that movie that almost was higher on the list but after some thinking and watching a couple other movies i i managed to put it at four it's a strange movie i love that movie yeah, yeah. it's one of my favorite horror movies that almost doesn't make a lick of sense but i don't care because <laughs> it's beautifully shot i think the cinematography is mm -hmm. awesome like the use of yeah. practical effects and just shadow and light yeah. mm -hmm. but I don't know. It just it doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense. And every time, it's like I'm gonna figure out what the hell is going on here, but I never do. But I don't care because I enjoy the movie every time. Yeah, it's it, it, to me once again like that surrealness is what I like. It, it's just it almost leaves it up for you to just put pieces together mm -hmm. and try to figure out why it's going on or, or just whatever you know. Like that's all fan fictions built. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, and then, uh, you know, like, even me and my wife were talking the other night, and she's like, why is the tall man gotta go as this, like, hot babe to pick up, to, like, <laughs> get to lure guys in and stuff, and I, and that, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Are you king shaman? Don't king shaman, come on. I don't really know, but it, like, it... You know, I guess, like, how else would you lure people in? <laughs> I mean, it gets results. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. Now people know, like, nah, no, I ain't into get murdered man. today. <laughs> I'm not taking your star Not murders. today. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, that, that movie's definitely always been a, a famous of mine. And, it's been and so the so tall man is, is, is great. such a good villain. Uh, villains are very important to me. Yes. Yep. Yep. Like, yep. having the, that image of evil or... The image of fear, or whatever, like is is so important. Scrim's face, that did it. Yep. I mean, you know, that left hand path back there. I mean, that, that, oh yeah, I, I yeah. forgot yeah. to even mention that yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, like that was one of the best samples on a metal song of all time, in my opinion. Yep. When I heard that come on for the first time, I was like, oh my god, are they gonna do this? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's metal as fuck. <laughs> so Nick, <laughs> Nick four. Four. Yeah, poltergeist at five. All right. Um, actually, uh, we already kind of brought this one up in passing. Okay. Jaws. Uh, now, nice. you, you can bring in the debate as to whether or not it's a horror movie or not, like a thriller or adventure. It is the birth of a blockbuster. But in terms of a movie that had such a profound effect on me, you know, in real life, I don't get in the ocean. The ocean terrifies me because <laughs> everything wants to murder me there, especially a giant 25-foot shark named George or was it Sam? I mean, you know, don't go out to the middle of the ocean. Yeah. I've been, yeah. I've been... I don't like the shore. No, there's like jellyfish and bullshit. That's true. No, just don't go yeah. into the ocean. No, I don't belong there. <laughs> Little kids pooping. <laughs> nice when you go into the ocean, you're voluntarily lowering yourself on the food chain. That's not cool. That is true, actually. But, and I live in Florida, so that we're we are one with the water down here. There's uh, water death no, everywhere. No, so no. I feel you on that. <laughs> you can't but, get away from it down there. Great movie, character driven, and the monster mm -hmm. is essentially real. It's something you know and Man. you can familiarize with it, and it builds a quasi rational fear. But I mean, it's a good story. Like we were talking about, like you know, it, it's not really like dark. You know, like shot at night. Most Man. of it is during mm -hmm. the day. Yeah. There are some cool uh, night scenes, like when he's doing the dive and the head rolls out of the yeah, boat yeah, and like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, actually, my mom saw that in theaters and she jumped like out of her seat when <laughs> that happened. Yeah. But it's still effective, and it's I mean, scary. It's a, it's a great movie. Like even yeah. you know, if it wasn't a horror movie, I mean, again, it's still debatable. It'd be a great movie. It's just well done. But yeah, I, I love that movie. I watch it at least once a year. Just yeah, for I'm, me. I'm, I'm, the, I'm yeah. the same. Actually, my dad just uh, they took a vacation over here. To visit us, and we watched Jaws just because oh, right the, right. Uh, yeah. 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 we actually watched yeah. Jaws yeah. and then went to the beach uh, <laughs> the next day. So it was, it was, you know, it was fitting. Yeah, that's a big F you for Nick. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Was was that the picture I saw of you and your dad where he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt and the lion and shirt? the fifth helmet? Uh, yeah. that, that was down in the Everglades. We actually we went down to the the swamps oh. looking for gators and stuff. That was a oh, great oh, picture. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a airboat cool tour as well. Like with the big fan on the back of the boat. And, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. But yeah, that was the picture from that. <laughs> uh, that was the uh, last month. Nice, number four. Oh. <laughs> Every oh. time I point to John, he's gonna go or make some other sound effect uh. instead of give me a goddamn answer. <laughs> Um, Number four. <laughs> Number four. Uh, <laughs> dude, I saw it on your list. I'm going to steal it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Shaun of the Dead. Ooh. I, uh, I adore that movie. Oh, as, yeah. as far oh, yeah. as zombie movies go, I adore that movie. It is both funny uh, and the, those zombies are fairly, yeah. you know, the, that's kind of the yeah. first glance of what I think more real zombies would look like versus depictions in other films. Um yeah. The, the kind yeah. of oh, shit. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. What is that? I don't even know that number. God damn it. All right. You go for it. Sorry. Son of a... What a rookie. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I told you we'd figure out this interview shit at some point. We're keeping it really professional. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's we, how we do it. We do. We do well at keeping things professional. <laughs> I know how to spell the word. Red. Mm. That's half the battle. Sometimes yep. it's a cat yeah, piece. Professional. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, no I, I, I'm all about Shot of the Dead. I got. I have no nothing against that. Uh, I love that movie as well. Um, uh, that they're hilarious. Yeah, but like you said, they, they do have some bits of gore and oh, uh, really good, good, yeah. good yeah. effects and things like that. Um, very like lovable. That's one thing that, about that movie. From yeah. the first time I saw yeah. it, I. Uh, Wanted to see more of that, uh, and then like when Hot Fuzz came out, I loved Hot Fuzz as well, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. So yeah, I wrote uh, that in. Yeah, with, uh, no, I, that's a that's a good call actually. Yeah. Thank you. I kind of wrote that in with uh, Dale and Tucker versus Evil. I dude, love that. Yeah. That movie's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The dude falling under the wood chipper. Yeah. And oh like, yeah. My ass off like, every time. <laughs> just their reactions. <laughs> <laughs> they just. I oh, got you, buddy. No worry. <laughs> Oh. See, there's, there's good, like, satire horror, and then there's bad satire yeah. horror. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We won't get into that. That'll be, that would be a whole other video. Oh. Yeah, a whole other video. Let's see. I had at three, Alien. That's got to be mine. Number three. So yours yeah. number three? Yeah, yeah, Alien would have been my number three. It's, well, it's where sci-fi and horror met up. So John's got it at three, too. It's it's a huge movie, dude. It, oh yeah, yeah. It, it, sci-fi it's and shit. horror media for like probably the first time, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like, it, it was just the isolation sense oh, of the yeah. and and not that you know, obviously we're not going to be in a situation like that, or at least a very small point zero 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 one percent is going to be in that yeah. position, but. <laughs> It's still just the, the the isolation, and then just knowing that you have something that wants to kill you and doesn't give a shit yeah. about negotiations or <laughs> things or anything. It just wants to fucking end your life. It's a nightmarish, slimy shadow with teeth. It yeah, has yeah. blood. And acid, acid blood. blood yeah. yeah. So like, even if you did kill it, it was like, well, it's gonna eat a hole through the fucking ship, and then we would die anyway. So we really got to think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it. it, it out competes the the humans on that ship in every possible way mm -hmm. and uh yeah the 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 xenomorph itself as a creation is is absolute nightmare fuel um i, I think I, I mean obviously i was alive when that came out but i can imagine the reaction uh that that movie 
basically brought about and and whatnot and mm-hmm. yeah no, I'm, I'm sure it's it was amazing and to this day it's still influential and they're still keeping the universe going um i played like alien isolation which was a video game of right, it yeah, yeah. Yeah. i watched some playthroughs of that that was a horrible <laughs> game uh, <laughs> in the best in the best way possible but uh yeah no it's 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 i'd say it's almost one of the the top ranking franchises even right. yeah. Um, yeah. Be, yeah. beyond just just how amazing that that first one was um, yeah, I, I think cool. um, that weird. where they went with it was good too, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Even to this day, like the Prometheus and I like, I like um, the the newer ones, I, I think are awesome, you know. So I I I, I dig it, you know. Nick's not in his. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Covenant, but I mean, I <clears throat> yeah, Covenant was eh. the first one was Prometheus. So I, I dug a that brilliant stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, the key scenes, of course, the chest burst you're seeing fucked up everybody yeah, yeah. And my favorite one and it still gets me i hate jump scares and i think i haven't timed out every time and i'm wrong when dallas is in the vent hunting down the alien oh, yeah, look yeah. this oh, way oh, with a flashlight right at the camera and turn around and i jump like a bitch every time it's like fuck i know that i've seen this a hundred times yeah and of course so so be the the yeah. Yeah. yeah and i was going to mention that too it's kind of one of those things her with uh jamie lee curtis yeah, like yeah. the strong female characters Except she, like, Jamie Lee Curtis was kind of like a scream queen. Like, Sigourney True. Weaver didn't. Mm-hmm. No. She wasn't like, oh, no, 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 no. Help me. She's like, scream at you, bitch. Give me a flamethrower. <laughs> True. Yeah, I guess oh, that's right. Yeah. Sigourney was just a, a strong in the sense she just eventually figured it mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. in a stumbly kind of way. While Whereas Sigourney panties. Weaver yep. knew exactly, like, she was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Uh-huh. She was telling people on the ship, shut up, sit down. <laughs> you know? Literally. And she was on a I know like the whole thing that she was unassuming too. Like even when they did like the the cash shoots, you didn't see her build as the right. main hero. Yeah. Like oh, it's gonna be Tom Scarrett. Yes. Yeah, oh, Tom Scarrett's dead. What? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess. So what would you have at number three? Uh, number three, I have Hellraiser. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Almost made a yep. list too. Yep. Yeah. That was close. Clive yeah. Barker's. Um, once again, you might be noticing there's a pattern. I I love the surrealism and yep. the. Yep. Just weird outside the box stuff. Um, I, I love like the originality of it and stuff. Uh, Pinhead is one of the most iconic like horror villains, in my opinion. Uh, played by Doug Bradley, oh, if anyone's yeah. wondering. Um, he's actually been Pinhead nine times, if I'm not mistaken. It said oh, yeah. online. Yeah. Um, which cool. also, usually they don't do every last sequel, but he truly is uh, Pinhead, in my opinion, and. Um, yeah, I mean, just the, the Cenobites as a whole are just, once again, nightmare fuel, you know, the, like the, the, the inter, interdimensional there. stuff always messes with me. Um, oh, maybe that's just a fear of mine is like getting dragged into another dimension. Um, I've I mean, even I used stuff like that in right, right. I've written and whatnot and that i would say that's directly from like phantasm and in hellraiser and mm-hmm. movies yeah, like yeah. that but uh yeah no just the 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 whole vibe of it and it's just like it's kind of lewd at the same time like it's very er- erotic at this like there's a lot of weird mm-hmm. like kind of and yeah, oh, like to me that just like yeah, it's yeah. Really yeah. they look like bondage yeah. demons yeah, bondage <laughs> demons. yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly you know and and it's like I don't know. It's just horrifying in, in so many ways, and, and the, the the sub story of the guy Frank, oh, um, like getting brought back to life, like like that whole thing is just disgusting. Yeah, oh. uh, it's immoral. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, right. and that's what almost gets me even more than it just being gross or uh, scary. It's like it's it's wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. He looks very sticky. Yeah. <laughs> you were you were talking about jump scares. There's the the scene where he like crawls on the floor at the camera all fast, and yeah. that's one of those where like no matter how many times I watch it, once a year or whatever, like I am never ready for that part. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, you gotta you gotta kind of wonder sometimes if the the developers from Resident Evil didn't get like the uh, the crawler idea from or the liquors, yeah, yeah the yeah, liquors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah, no, because it is, it is almost like the little crawler dude coming at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I thought of that immediately. I was yeah. like, oh, because I'm a big fan of Hellraiser, and again, yeah. one of those that almost made my list. Yep. 
but uh, fell just just short. I might have had Hellbound, the second one on my list. I, I yeah. that I think that movie is just a little bit better than the original because you get to go to the other side and you know you see Leviathan. See all this is yeah. the god I yeah, worship. And the Doctor, the yeah. Doctor is. The doctor. Sure. <laughs> Ah, yes, evisceration. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, gory levels of camp. It's amazing. Yeah. I mm-hmm. love it. Yeah, definitely. Number three. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, now we're both going sound I, effects now. You and me do. Come on. What am I, three? Three. 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 <laughs> um, I, I guess I'm going to go with the thing. Nice. Yeah, um, ev- everything about it. It's my number one. Yeah, yeah, it's my number two. The the isolation, Kurt Russell's beard. Yes, is powerful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no brimly mustache. That Keith has to be David. Noted. Yeah, um, the the effects are you can smell them. Oh, oh yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that They're dog brilliant. creature smells. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give people CPR. And th- this is part of the reason. It's like, no, I know it happens. Your chest opens up yep. your teeth. Yep, give him chest impressions. Nah, no, sorry, he's dead. He's gone. <laughs> Fuck that guy. If that is a guy, I don't even know that's a guy. It's a head with things. With Dude, things. It's such a gross out movie, but it's so well paced. The paranoia, yep. the isolation. Yep, yep, yep. The cast is brilliant. The jump scare of when he puts the oh, hot needle oh, in. Yeah, dude. Ah. Yep. That gets me every time, too. I don't... And it's fucked up because I can see the hands fake. You can yeah, tell yeah, because yeah. it has a, yeah. you know, a thing that... I know it's fake. I know it's coming. I still fucking jump. Yeah. <laughs> this was an honorable... It was uh, probably would have been my number seven. Too. And at the end, it's kind of one of those ambiguous endings. Like, is mm-hmm. Keith David the thing? Is... Uh, McCready, yeah. the thing yeah, yeah, yeah. is are, are 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 all the things dead? Are they gonna die? You know, it's well. They're mm-hmm. what the hell is going on? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to think about. I think they're pretty much they're both just sat there and not trusted each other and died of exposure. I mean, that's what well, I read a fan theory that um, at the end when he passes Keith David the uh, the bottle that he put kerosene in the bottle and he drank it and that's why uh, McMurphy starts laughing. At the end, when the oh, credits okay. start rolling, like, like, he's like, "Oh, I got you," but they're obviously uh, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. But huh. uh, that's it's one they're of those bo- fan, uh, you know. Yeah, they're, really, they're both going at some point. Yeah, they're <laughs> both. Right? The birth's not gonna make it. Well, they actually called the comics. That's what makes it a basic movie, though, is yep. that people are uh, like coming up with stuff. Probably still to this day, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. coming up with theories and stuff. The uh, the other thing that always terrified me about that movie is. Uh, it's like it's like being on Earth, but like not being on Earth yeah. at the same right, time, because right, right. you're just so far from everything. And, and yeah, ice, isolation is horrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Being yeah. alone is is horrifying. Let alone with the dog thing, monster, man, bear, pig, monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The monsters in plain sight, uh, yeah. like at all times, but you would never know it until never it's too know. late. Super serial. Yeah. Half dog. And uh, half uh, that's a John Carpenter, too. So it has that amazing yeah, yeah. Uh, trademark soundtrack as well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. I think that was one of his, uh, Carpenter's best. Actually, yep. Carpenter didn't do that one. He didn't? Not for the thing. Well, no, he, he outsourced that one. That was one of the few he didn't uh, cover. Music? Yeah. No. Yeah, he well, no, not no, the music. Oh. He did the movie. He oh, no, he did the movie, yeah. not the music. No, no the music. Not the, I know the music. Yeah. He yeah. usually oh, does the music yeah. for his films, but that yeah. one doesn't. I thought he did do that score. No. no. Yeah, yeah, Education yeah. is enlightening. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> the fucked up thing about it is it didn't get the big following until, like, much later because it was yeah. released, like, either a week before or a week after E.T. And yeah. yeah. Everyone would rather go see the... Friendly alien that eats Reese's pieces and looks like a scrotum. <laughs> but he does look like a scrotum. Yeah, he does look like a scrotum. There's, yeah. there's no scrotum. One. No. <laughs> it's like just feed the scrotum candy. But uh, <laughs> that was the tagline I tried pitching. But uh, Spielberg thing, wasn't having it. He wasn't having it. But feed the scrotum. Candy. It was probably it was probably during the whole like the '90s VHS boom where like yeah. all the you yeah. know director oh, video yeah, stuff. Yeah. I think that's where the thing picked up steam and everyone realized like holy shit this movie's brilliant yep yeah the so, start yeah. of that cult kind of underground yep. yeah. tape trading yeah. oh thing. believe me and, i was i was big into that and the weird thing too is i'm not a big fan of remakes but the thing is, is a remake it is mm-hmm. yeah it technically is the original is yeah. from what 56 mm-hmm. something like that 55 yeah, 56 like yeah yeah and obviously horror movies were a little different then yeah, yeah. Sure. a little bit <laughs> 
I'm gonna kill you, Fade to Black. <laughs> it's like, just put a dab of chocolate syrup on This isn't black and white, they'll think it's blood. So, Nick, we can round out yours then, number two. Is number two? Any, yeah, number two. What would you have? It's The Exorcist. And it is the version you did not see. Because that, that added spider walk just added a whole other level of fucked yeah. upness to it. Uh, yeah. yeah. But that movie is absolutely amazing. Again, it's just yep. one of those flat out good movies, but yeah. in a rational fear at the time, like, well, look, can a demon take over my body and make my head spin around and shit? Just how in your face it was. Like, it's, again, well shot, beautifully acted, but then you get, like, scenes of Regan stabbing herself in the crotch with a fucking crucifix. Mm -hmm. like, and it happens yeah. so quickly, like, mm -hmm. I don't know how to process this. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and it wasn't like, they weren't afraid to hold back at all no. with language mm -hmm. or with ideas. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, I had this at number one. This is my top. Um, to me, it's one of the perfect horror movies. It really is. It is. Yep. Uh, and uh, it, it makes a lot of top lists. I know that. Oh, and I, for good reason. I mean... I can put it on any time, and I'll be thoroughly happy with my decision yeah yeah it's entertaining all the way through and it hits all the nodes it does you know, hits all the the major yeah. nodes there so no, ex exorcist is a classic for sure um yeah like like you said how it just dives into very very immoral uncomfortable things uh, <laughs> With no no filter, no yeah, like yeah. cut the camera away, and just and full and frontal, you know, yeah. Yeah. luxury yeah. all the way through. And especially during that time period in life too, where yeah, that, was, that that was such an issue with like the religious yeah, folks, with, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. mother sucks cocks in hell. Right, right. Like, like Jesus fuck you. <laughs> What'd you say about my mama? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's a, a definitely um, that that was actually going to be probably one of my top ones. But once I, like I said, once again, once I started doing my mm. shuffling and stuff, I was like, I love it, and I think it is one of the uh, most acclaimed and and most loves. But I, I went with just my personal like. The ones that just made me shit my pants when I was younger. <laughs> sure. I think it, it might have even been that by the time I saw it, uh, The Exorcist, I wasn't like older, but I was probably about 13 or 14. Right. So I'd already, You're I'd already seen uh, uh, like a lot of stuff. So it, it maybe just didn't shock me quite as much. But no, I, I definitely can say uh, Exorcist is, is up there for sure. So you. be your number two then. What is, what is uh, my number two? And if if we don't allow it, I understand because it was a TV miniseries. But uh, I gotta go with the 1990 it. Honestly, that that oh, movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Tim Tim Curry alone yeah, haunts yeah, my yeah. dreams to this day. <laughs> no matter what he's wearing. Right? <laughs> Home Alone too. <laughs> Get out of here, Tim. Yeah. In 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 terms of like it being a personal for me. It, I don't know what it was, but my, my dad was a VHS collector when I was a kid. My dad loves movies. Like, that's one of his favorite things other than music. Um, so I would just kind of dig through the VHSs and look at the covers. And I would just pick if I wanted to watch something based on that. And so it was that one where the cover just says it, and it's Tim Curry as Pennywise. And it's white, like a white cover. Yep. And yeah. the, the hand yeah. ripping the... Yeah, yeah. doesn't yeah. look that threatening. <laughs> Something about that, I just wanted to see what's up with the clown, you know? <laughs> and uh, so, I, I mean, I, I was young now for this. Like, I, I remember being maybe four or five years old asking oh, my dad, oh, that'll, that'll yeah. do it. put on the clown movie. Hi, hi, and hi, he, like, he knew what it was or whatever, you know? And he's like, <laughs> okay, we'll try, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, Say, would you like a balloon? That's funny. It was, it was like... Uh, I am with my daughter when she was younger, like, oh, I want to watch, you know, Hellraiser. I was like, okay. <laughs> how, much, how much is a child therapist? Not winning any Parent of the Year awards. <laughs> but my kids turned out all right. You turned out all right. So right, right. evidently me and Max are doing something right. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I, I understood it was fun, but, uh, it, you know, I'd ask him to put it on and it would get to the same point every single time where the he's talking to him in the gutter, uh -huh. yep. face changes. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the face change for me as a you know a real real small kid, 
I would just lose it. I would run out of the room screaming. <laughs> and it took a couple of years of asking him to watch it and losing my shit on that scene every single time to where I, I finally got to be a little older and got through the whole thing. Yes. And uh, it, it's like I said, it's just always been one of those like movies that it's like an experience. Um, I think it being a two part three hour you know you gotta you gotta dedicate if you're gonna watch it sure, 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 sure. Um, and I, I really like that about it um, not to mention uh, once again it's a Stephen King he the dude's like my idol um, the the book is even a thousand times worse oh, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 the book is gnarly through like the 1200 pages that it is uh, <laughs> it, it's so much worse honestly and uh, I actually I, I loved all of that enough and in Pennywise scared me so much that I actually have uh, no, no, no. <laughs> kind of hard to get the angle, but uh, yeah, I actually got that because I was like, he like that's just that's, that's, that's what I'm afraid of, and he turns into what you're afraid of, and for me, that is the ultimate monster because it can, uh, you know, it can it can just take on whatever you're mm-hmm. afraid of. It, it could be anything from a giant spider to a clown to like Bear your parents or. It could be your bully or something like that, and to me, that's that's just horrifying. Yeah, that in itself. Yeah, the fact that the clown was the main thing, like, and watching as a kid, like you think, like, oh, clowns are just the goofy guys at the circus, and then you see the teeth, and like, I'm fucked up forever now. (laughs) Yeah, you're like running out of the room. That ain't a clown. That ain't a clown. (laughs) Do all clowns do that? Oh, god damn it. He's just a sweet transvestite. It's another movie. Oh, totally, yeah. totally, totally, <laughs> no, yeah. great reference. Great reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going Killer, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, too. That was, well, that was yeah. definitely more camp, but holy yeah, shit, that yeah. was a lot of camp. Yeah. Great. What's yeah. your tattoo, Rin? I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Don't make me. <laughs> I, I'm going to go The Shining. Uh, that is also my number two. Yep. Uh, nice. Again, Stephen King, but through the eyes of Kubrick. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nicholson's insane Shelley Duvall just looking at her scares the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. She is a terrifying woman. Yes, yes. I, yes. I'm, yes. My God. Her cigarette ash is this Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just wait for it to fall. It's like, it's still on there. <laughs> the, <laughs> the creepy twins. Everything Come about that movie. The, the, the blood coming out of the elevators. And the hot woman that turns into a, a decrepit granny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rotting yeah. granny. <laughs> Yeah, to me, one of the, again, one of the perfect kind of horror movies kind of hits everything, the isolation even, whereas um, uh, The Exorcist really doesn't go on the isolation. Yeah, there's people everywhere. There's there. Oh, yeah. The Shining, well, there's there's not there. Yeah. Right. They're right. there, that's but they're true. not there. No, you know? I was talking about Exorcist. Oh, Exorcist. Oh, and yeah. Exorcist. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I meant. Yeah, like, yeah. The Shining plays on the yeah. isolation, yep. like the thing. Yeah. So I, I think even in some ways The Shining is more of a horror movie than The Exorcist, but The Exorcist for me had a bigger impact on just scaring the living shit out of me. Scat well, and Crothers. It's also but, the way The Shining shot. It's the Kubrick wide-angle effect. Mm-hmm. So you have like a small central person, and then everything else around them is empty. So that definitely adds that. The whole maze, too, mm-hmm. at the end. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I used to have nightmares about that when I was and a kid. That's a, a, what I like is that contrast from the ending in the maze part is you got, like you said, big open shots. Mm-hmm. It's really yeah. open and airy, and it's just you in a big space. And then you go to the end, and it's totally the opposite. Mm-hmm. It's you in a cluster. Dark and mm-hmm. cold. Yeah, dark, cold. Um, just desolation again, you know. Going, that's why it's one. Of, it could have easily been as number one. Have you seen the well. South Park episode of of, of that where it's oh. Randy has the blockbuster video oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and oh, he can't okay, get yeah, anybody to come that. in and shop and like people appear yeah. and the bartender appears, yeah. but at the end where he's sitting outside, get burnt down. Yeah. He's sitting outside freezing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which again, uh, some well, obviously that movie was totally different than the book. Uh, yeah, the book is fantastic, by the way. If, if, yeah, two different things. Yeah, way, uh, way King actually movie. hates the movie. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's why he, that. he was like looking uh, for a good movie on the though. TV uh, miniseries that they did, yeah. and which is very close to the book. But and I still like it, but yeah. Kubrick is. He went from Jack Nicholson to like Stephen Webber. Yeah. He's not a bad actor, Bob. I mean, <laughs> right? No, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah. 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 
No Jack Torrance. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, Sh- yeah, I love The Shining. I think it is definitely uh, up there in the, like, if I did a top 10, it'd probably be in top 10 for me, for sure. Um, it actually inspired uh, one of the Go Ahead and Die songs on the last album, uh, Isolated, Desolated. Oh, we yeah, took- yeah. oh, okay. Oh, all right. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a mixture of The Shining with being insane from quarantine. Um, right. Sort of mixture we, we wrote about. But yeah, no, The Shining is an uh, amazing uh, movie and book and just, just general piece of horror. And uh, I, I like that it has like a level of magic almost to it, too, mm-hmm. um, with, with the actual Shining, you yep. know, the yep. telepathy and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, that's a like King always did stuff like a carry fire starter, yep, you yep. know, shining. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I, I, mean, I can I mean, definitely I mean, dig. I can definitely dig having like a almost magical kind of like mystic vibe to it as well, and, mm-hmm. uh, and not to mention just the actual horror of uh, everything in that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, dead little girls and like hallways of blood and mm-hmm. and naked hot ladies that turn into <laughs> dead, <laughs> decrepit grandmas and stuff like that. The whole thing, once again, it, it, it plays with the mind. It, it plays yeah. with the psychological aspect of it and, and, and all that. Yeah, the great movie, for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Definitely, Definitely like, like how it uh, plays on the visuals without going, going overly gory, gory with, with anything, anything in yeah. particular. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Terrifier was like that for me. Oh, it's, yeah, like, yeah, okay. yeah. it's like yeah. I, the clown is scary, but God damn, does it, does it need to like get that graphic? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Yeah, and that, um, you know, there was a whole period there of, like, that gore kind of saw, I think. Yeah. Right? Torture, porn. Torture porn. Torture yeah. porn. Torture porn. That's yeah. what it yeah. is. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. Yeah. You knew Rob Zombie had a little bit to do with that. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. He, he, yeah. he kind of went on the old school, like, grindhouse approach. But, yeah, I mean, it, it got, you know, like, that hostile level of gore in yeah. there. Yeah. Like the Italian horror movies from the eighties, like Argento Fulci, and Fulci, yeah. Fulci. And like yeah. like that Fulci. was super gory, but it was still like, yeah, I know that's not real. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can see the right. plastic bits flying off of it, you know. Of course, yeah, yeah. red paint. I mean, yeah. blood. Yeah, yeah. Or I mean, getting your head shoved through a long nail and your eye poking oh, yeah, out. Yeah, uh, drill press. The drill yeah, press. Yeah, drill yeah. Press. Oh, yeah. yeah. Acid on the face of the puking girl up your in the organs. Hospital. Oh, yep. that is my favorite one. I can hear that scene right now. Acid scene. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the necrophagia video, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, that's the, yeah the beyond, beyond. yeah beyond, oh, yeah. 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 I have to watch that now. <laughs> oh yeah. And oh, the, dude. The oh, beyond dude. and beyond gates of hell. Gates yeah. of hell, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, what would be your number one, Igor? Uh, my number one is Halloween, nineteen seventy-eight, or nineteen seventy-nine, or seventy-eight. 78. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Original right. one. Number yeah. Number Carpenter, one. Carpenter, Donald Pleasant, <laughs> yep. Nick Castle, J.B. Lee Curtis. DJ Did not go wrong. Um, I don't know. To me, it's just it's the epitome of a horror movie. It, it To me, it set the standard of having like your villain, your murder scenes, your atmosphere, the soundtrack, the, the music. A yeah. uh, little bit of bizarreness where things almost don't make sense and it's it's left to you to kind of like put it together and stuff. Um, how it's filmed is to me just gorgeous. Like it mm-hmm. makes me want to put on a sweater. Uh, there, the, like I was watching it the other night um, because I wanted to like take notes and remember scenes I liked and stuff. But I noticed throughout the whole movie, like there's always clips where they're like walking home from school or uh, doing something and you can see the leaves falling mm-hmm. from yeah, the trees yeah. and stuff in, in, to me, it's like it's such a small thing, but that minor detail just really like does it for me in terms of building the atmosphere mm-hmm. and like making you feel like it's that night of Halloween and you're in yeah, high yeah, school yeah, and yeah. you want to go party and with your friends and you want to like be out and do that stuff and all of a sudden people are getting murdered, you know? It's like this total mashup of stuff. It, it, like I said, just the way it's filmed, the the imagery, the the opening thing the zoom in of the pumpkin mm-hmm. slowly, like all of that stuff to me just really it it is what a horror movie it is it like is about you know yeah, it's yeah. about the the atmosphere and stuff like that and then you know uh dr loomis's like just presence <laughs> and just intensity yeah, to yeah. like find michael myers and i shot him six times 
<laughs> he sells it so authentically. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we were talking about Jamie Lee Curtis earlier. Like she's the uh, definitive like scream queen. Mm-hmm. You know, like her her fear is very palpable and real. Yep, it, yep. It, it genuinely feels like she's getting chased and stuff. And, um, and then, you know, Mike, <laughs> Michael Myers as a slasher is really cool to me because like he is a man, but he breaks those realms of like, you know, real life, like he's immortal kind of yeah, you really start in, in the sequels. Yeah. 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 They, they built up this this whole thing about him and, and then even the original one ends uh, just leaving you wondering if he escaped or, or what happened you know and then mm-hmm. uh, I, I like how he's become supernatural so to speak yeah, like, yeah. I think not just some crazy cool. kid that killed his sister you know? <laughs> really <laughs> yeah exactly the, the whole progression of him as a character is just really crazy it, it, it just scary no other way to put yeah, it yeah yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there, there's so many well shot scenes in there. Uh, oh, I can't remember which one he, the one he killed in the car, but how long yeah. and drawn out it, it is. Took, yeah, it took yeah. her a while to die, Annie. Yeah. Like, dude, like you, you're like, well, wow, yeah. this this should have cut already. Oh my god. <laughs> Even the like she, I the, the other night that scene got me too, where she gets in and she's like looking at the fog, uh-huh. which that triggered in my head. It's warm in the car. He's been in there breathing and right, 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 right. I don't know why that was wow, just wow. yeah, yeah. That, that, that messed me up when I thought about yeah, that yeah. um like I said in terms of the atmosphere it's cold out the leaves are falling it's mm-hmm. almost Halloween like mm-hmm. it, it puts you in that in that place and, and then yeah just she's like gasping you know just for like a full minute it's just yeah. like yeah. oh god like yeah, yeah. He's, he's, out of it already you know he's the king of creating that oh yeah, yeah. so and the yeah, fact, there's reasons why a couple of his movies are on our list, you know. The the mask, yeah. dude. The, the mask is... The William Shatner mask. <laughs> what, see, you get a blank, expressionless face that's yeah. probably hiding a blank, expressionless face underneath yeah. it, too. Mm-hmm. Like, it isn't yeah. just like the, you know, the hockey mask or anything like that or a shroud. Mm-hmm. Like, there's human features, but they're mm-hmm. so fucked up and twisted because it's a yeah. little askewed. I'm sure William Shatner appreciates that. Oh, he will. <laughs> he does. I auditioned. But they didn't pick me. They said, no, just uh, put on this mold. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's from uh, The Devil's Reign. Was that that was uh, where the mold of his I, face yeah, came yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's so effective. And, you know, that's uh, possibly one of my favorite Shatner roles, too, I guess, technically. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rin, you're number one. Even now. And then. I'm not <laughs> I, 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 it, it's in the grand scheme of things it was scary when it came out not so scary now but I've watched this movie three four times a year and I have for the past 30 years Night of the Living Dead the original nice. black and white George Romero it was the quintessential the zombie, zombie movie, movie. Uh, everything about Night of the Living Dead it's the, the, the zombies they're, they're not Gory, really? They're just kind of men. A lot of tired people. Yep. Uh, Ben is like a badass. The uh, God, what the hell's his name? Uh, Oh, the shitty dad. Yeah, the shitty dad. Oh, Harry Harry Cooper. Harry Cooper is a piece of shit, and when he dies in the movie, you're just like, yep, yeah, eat him. (laughs) No, I think it's a. I think that is a great movie because it, it 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 like created. Uh, subgenre, yep. I guess yeah. you could say. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Like zombie movies or whatever. And uh, it was between that and Dawn. Dawn of the Dead oh, is yeah. like, They're both kind of close. That's, that's, that's my number one. I would have so. went with Dawn. Yeah. Uh, so, but both yeah, yeah. are yeah. list for sure. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to have a zombie movie in mind, but uh, I, 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 it's hard, you know. It's You're so like, hard. Like it's I had like thing. Thing. Yeah. 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 start, and then I tried to get it down to like eight, and then finally to five. It is like. You know, it's not easy. It like, I'm going to be honest. Even, even then, I, had, had, I, had, I had like five, five honorable <laughs> mentions, like Psycho, the original Psycho. Great movie. Rosemary's yeah. Baby. Yep. Um, yeah. And then The Thing in Poltergeist. But, um, yeah. This, yeah this well, is we, can, we can talk about some uh, honorables at the end, even. Oh, yeah. 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 There's, a, there's a few that I would love to even just bring up uh, outside of uh, ranking or whatever. 
Yeah, but Night of the Living Dead sparked that whole thing mm -hmm. into Dawn of the Dead, which is John's yeah, The original one. Dawn of the Dead is one of the coolest movies ever, yep. yes. I think. For um, sure, yeah. And, and I mean, because I don't find that movie really scary, albeit there's a couple jump scenes. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it, I find it to be, you know... How fucking cool would that have been to live in the mall? To live in the mall, you know, back like I, I don't give a crap I mean, without about the zombies. Maybe without the zombies. <laughs> right, right. Without without the zombies. zombies. I don't I don't give a crap about the mall, you know, now at this age because I, I I hate people. Yeah. But but, but, but guilty. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, no, except I, I love Except for our everybody. YouTube subscribers. But, right, except for our YouTube <laughs> really subscribers and, and the people we interview and, you know. Yeah. Except right. for metalheads uh, and, and horror buffs. Right, yeah. right, exactly, right. Um, but, you know, how cool would that have been to take over the mall? Like, it just yeah. it, every scene they, from the, you know, the arcade to when they're in the bank with all the money and <laughs> yeah. eating food and, like, they wall everything off and they live in the mall. That's badass. Yeah, one, one of the things I love about that movie, too, it plays from different areas in the fact of it shows that materialistic kind of drive right. in that period right. in the 80s yep. you know the boom of the economy yep. and everyone yep. wanting 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 and it really kind of broke that down it's like okay do you really need all this shit right yeah. mm -hmm. right you know? Th that was the yeah the survival thing yeah yeah survival but it also to me uh, zombie movies in my opinion always represent the materialism and in, in yep. yep. almost yeah. becoming a yeah. uh, Becoming a zombie, corporate zombie, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, no, that, that's a good point for sure. And really, I like how all those kind of, really, the, the scariest thing about it is the people that are living, you know, yeah. most of the time. Right, yeah, right. That's the shit that's you really got to worry about. Mm, right. The guys shuffling around, those are easy, but the other people that are alive are the, the main, you know, scare. Yeah. Uh, Walking Dead took uh, yeah. 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 yep a little yep. <laughs> so we've gotten our lists separate now yes. let's start with the top one because that may be easier if we go there and work down oh, like, what's the best one what can we put at number one so you had Halloween Night of the Living, Dawn of the Dead Exorcist, The Thing I We're... quit <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, I can't budge on the thing, man. That's that that literally. You don't budge on anything. I don't budge on anything. I'm a, I'm a, you know, very planet like an oak. <laughs> this is gonna be the fresh official you know, thralls top five minus Nick. I mean, I, literally, like one of the, one of the like like the the factors we're looking at in terms of, like best overall horror movie, like you know, um, like direction, acting, story. Did it affect you in real life? Did it kind of carry over? Did it give you irrational fears? Uh, how often you return to it. I mean, there's a lot of different stuff there. Mm -hmm. I watch all of those movies yeah. bi-monthly, I would say. <laughs> yeah. I don't watch a lot of new movies unless I, I no. watch the Marvel No, stuff. I, don't, I don't watch yeah, Marvel the Marvel stuff. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe we could do it by maybe, like, how many of us had these in our lists? Yeah, like, yeah. I know, yeah. like, Boy, multiple of us had The Exorcist. Yeah, The, yeah, the Exorcist had The Shining. Yep, uh, the thing has made a couple of ours. Uh, the, the only reason I didn't pick Halloween is because I figured everybody would pick Halloween. Yeah, I thought. But about Halloween it. is probably the greatest horror movie. The, I mean, it's, yeah, I'd be. It's it's I'd a be for that slashers. Being toward the bottom five, Halloween, I think. But like, even with the thing, is what I think is is did it? I don't know the impact it had initially when it came out. It, see, it, it didn't, didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Whereas, I mean, like, The Exorcist... ET, dude. <laughs> I think The Exorcist did. The Exorcist mm -hmm. did. In a big way. Halloween did. Alien. Halloween did, yep. too. Alien yeah. did, too. Because the budget oh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. very small, and it went berserk at the theaters. Yeah. Yeah. But you had the people running out of the theater in terror. Like, the you know, that, that was, like, legit. Like, I, I had the, the uh, special thing for Alien, and Sigourney Weaver talked about going to screenings, and people just... Screaming and running out of the theater <laughs> during the chestburster scene. <laughs> that that sort of thing doesn't happen anymore because we're all kind of desensitized to it. Right. So, so uh, we don't get that type of reaction anymore. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these movies were iconic because of the the literal fear, like people passing out at them mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and running out of them and stuff. And like barf bags behind the seats. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> Any, I mean, we could even. Go toward yours number two, it, 
that kind of spawned a whole a whole group of people, a big group of people afraid of clowns. Oh yeah, dude. A huge yeah, group that's of people. Yeah, I think that's the name of the fear itself. Something yeah. like yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's definitely arguments for that, even yeah, being uh, number one. That's tough. It is tough. I can't believe nobody brought up Texas Chainsaw Massacre either. Yeah, I, that, I mean, that, it, was, yeah. that was that was like, there's some again, if we had like a top twenty. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Because even then, like that, where he pulls it right through the doors, like, uh -huh. oh shit! Yep. <laughs> like, oh, big hug. For the last house on the left. Yeah, last house on the left. See, there's so many. But what's the best? Uh, I'm with Exorcist uh, or Halloween. Exorcist or Halloween? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say for sake of argument, even uh, I had Halloween first, but uh, I think in a general consensus of the world, uh, the Exorcist is usually. I can go with the Exorcist. Yeah. Exorcist number one. All right, yeah. we got it. That's that's. that's I, I could while it may not be my personal number one. I do think right. that uh, from a just general. Scale. Most people have it in their top five, so mm -hmm. that should be yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, the merit. Two versions of it. Although upstairs. <laughs> me and Nick are the only ones that had it in our top five. I mean, I think it's just kind of it's it's just a universal movie. Like, yeah. I mean, yep. e even if you're a non horror fan, there's a pretty good chance you probably watch The Exorcist. For sure. Yeah. 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 And and I would have said. Uh, had it been weird because it was a mini series, uh, Exorcist probably would have been my number two. So, I I, I do think that that could hold the title. Yeah, um, yeah. The best. <laughs> All right, so we got the run of like Halloween, Alien, The Thing. Where do you go from the Exorcist? If Exorcist is the bar, uh, I mean honestly, I think. You go Halloween just because that pioneered the slashers. Sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. And that's a whole subset. And I think technically, um, oh, what was the the Christmas one? Black the, Christmas. Black Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Technically, that might have been the first slasher it was film. The, it was the first point of view from the killer's perspective. As yeah. As, so, and and Carpenter admits it too. He's like, yeah, yeah. kind of kind of stole that a little bit, but but <laughs> Halloween pretty better. much perfected the formula. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Without Halloween, you wouldn't have Friday the Thirteenth. Nope. You wouldn't nope. have uh, you know, like on Elm Street. All those yep. subsequent yep. ones. So, um, yeah, that, yeah, that would get my vote. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah, I'll take it. We'll take. This is like becoming easier. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that Nick weaned from the thing at number one. I well, I mean, well, the Exorcist is so far up there too. Yeah, yeah. The next one I, for number three, I would I, throw. A, I'm gonna throw my hand in the ring for Alien just because it merged sci-fi and horror, and it had a tremendous yeah, impact would, and spawned a franchise too. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's, it's one of my main. only thing is space. That's where I get weird. It's like, yeah. But it was, isn't the space you, scary enough? Just like, holy shit, I'm not on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> no, you had horrible yeah. things. Yeah, I like that too. Yes. I like the, oh, let's have sex and smoke pot and jump in this pond. Oh, I'm being murdered. <laughs> 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 so I'm the same way about the space. Thing. Thing. See, again, that's, that's I love the thing, but also horse, kind too. of space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, but not really. It, it, more of a yeah. space feeling I, I would say the thing too but i mean the fact that alien is in space and you have that mm -hmm. cold yeah. and dead setting i think that is like the big thing on there like you know, even the surface of the planet it's just cold and dead and it's a wasteland the thing at least you know it's on earth that's the only comforting thing right. about it right. <laughs> i'm gonna die i'm gonna die on earth <laughs> That's Define that. Earth. Yeah. Uh, well, right. uh, well, barren wasteland no one should ever visit. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, I I, could say that Alien did bridge the gap between the two, mm -hmm. in my opinion, between sci-fi and horror. Um, you know, a lot of things kind of mingled with the two, but that was like the, the very first where it was centered around it being kind of scary and, and being atmospheric and all of those things. Um and it, it had good acting, good good directing, yeah, yeah. filming, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. That's I mean, that is a tough one between Alien and the yeah, Thing. Yeah. That's like, you got two, you got two of my favorite, favorite directors. Right. Right. Yeah, and yeah. even now you brought up Hellraiser too, and, yeah. and that could make a run for that spot in a little bit. But 
Alien, I, I don't know. Alien, I had at three. Yeah, half of us had it at yeah. three. I, 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 can I, vote, I can vote an alien at three. Yeah. I, I, I can. <laughs> I'm, an agree, I'm an agreeable person. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I would be okay with alien or the thing at three. Yeah. Because the thing is, is like you were saying, it's more relatable in the sense that it is That's the at only, least yeah. a place on Earth. It's yeah. a place It's a place no one should ever visit. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we can't go the thing alien. No. I mean, I mean, we're we're agreeable people too. Although we're all gonna fight each other after the camera. So. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That That's true. That That's true. Like, wait, I don't know about about this way you were wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna get DMs from you. Like you guys are awful. <laughs> <laughs> like we know. Don't, fuck you guys. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> well, maybe for the sake of doing a horror. Countdown. Uh, to me, the the thing feels more like a horror story I, I, I and, and movie and whatever. And and the alien to me is a bridge between the two, kind of. So may, maybe for the for the sake of, of this list, we're doing uh, maybe the thing. Okay. okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, horror, I maybe the horror of the thing overpowers the. The sensationalism of Alien and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Alien would be the highest honorable mention regard possible. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. right. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I I love that movie. He Nick's a huge fan. Actually, Dude, there's for, there's so much stuff, and he got me yeah. an awesome fucking original poster for Alien. The original, like, egg and, you know, oh, David. Yeah, awesome. I, I found it, and and I was like, oh, here's your early birthday Christmas present. <laughs> I mean, he knows me. It was, was, it, was it was it was really bad. Has poster. I was like, do I want to keep this? I was like, no. No, you got. <laughs> we'll just give it to that fucking psychopath. You, that loves you got a pretty fucking, fucking cool shit. poster too, though. Oh yeah, the uh, National Lampoon's Christmas yeah, Vacation. Signed. It's autographed yeah. by Chevy Chase. Uh, those are some of my favorite movies uh, oh, wow. outside of yes. 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 we'll do a, we'll, a Christmas we'll do Thrall's Christmas <laughs> Thrall's Christmas or Comedy Hour or something yeah yeah yeah. we can do a little more. I'm counting Die so, Hard the thing at number three number four I think you gotta have a zombie movie zombies or ghosts I don't know like I mean even if uh, yeah, or, boys, or four and five could be zombies yeah. Yeah. monsters vampire lost boys well, I mean, could the, be a thing. The thing is definitely monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, ugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then what zombie movie? If we were to put a zombie movie at four, I mean, I love Night of the Living Dead, but I think Dawn of the Dead is the superior I film. Do too. Yeah, I do yeah. too. Night of the Living Dead was groundbreaking. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. But yep. they built an awesome foundation, then built this cool fucking building and filled it with zombies, and it's called Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> I I watched Dawn of the Dead. Probably at least once a month, to be honest. I've loved that movie. So yeah, yeah. I just recently watched it. I yeah. It's actually been a while. I need to watch that again. Yeah. The remake yeah. isn't bad. But they oh, the zombies right. run. Yeah. Fucking runners, dude. Yeah, no. Yeah, but I don't want sprinting at me I, to come in. I play. base all my survival plans on. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. If you're running, I'm done for. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I don't want to fucking run into a zombie with better cardio than me. He shouldn't even be breathing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I think Max Brooks' uh, zombie survival guide handy. So if they're not <laughs> what that man says they are, then I'm fucked. Yep. If they're like yep. World War Z zombies, I'm, I, I don't know no. what to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the second floor normally no longer applies. I can hardly walk without problems, let alone run. Yeah, which is a true. zombie movie. It's not a horror movie, but World War Z is one of my favorite movies. Um, I love. Yeah, love that's movie. good. But I, I don't. What would face... you say then, Dawn or Dawn or Night? Yeah, yeah. Dawn. Are we okay? Well, Dawn. with Dawn. As yeah. Well? Dawn. Dawn. Yeah, I could go with Dawn. All right. right it's, it's a superior film. I think Night of the Living Dead maybe like set up zombie flicks or whatever you know mm-hmm. like kind of start but i do think dawn of the dead was the just the better better execution mm-hmm. in, in everything um so, yeah no I, I could agree with that right on nice so now the probably the real fight what's the last one because i hadn't even thought of phantasm like lost boy those are two movies on your list that i really didn't think about uh prior um, but American Werewolf in London, I love Baker's work. Yeah, right. I right. love his stuff. Yeah. And he is the that was like 
the character design of character design for horror movies. And he still is. Like, he's the dude. And, and then Evil Dead. I mean, both you could say kind of bridge that, you know, absurd almost comedy to yeah. over-the-top horror. Yeah. Then so did Lost Boys. I was yeah. going to say, and the Lost Boys, too, and I didn't even think of that. That, that... First of all, I haven't seen that movie in forever. I haven't yeah. either, but then now I'm like <laughs> rambling. But like it, now, like, oh, wow, like, there's like, some disturbing I shit. Might mm-hmm. watch, I think it's on Prime. Or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I got it on VHS. <laughs> I mean, I have it on VHS. <laughs> I got it on VHS. <laughs> Lost Boys is just a good movie, too. Like, I don't know, when I was a... When I was a kid, like, I wanted to be one of those, like, punk rock vampires, <laughs> you know? I wanted to hang out at the boardwalk, <laughs> yeah, yeah. smoke and drink and go to concerts and be a vampire. At the, like, uh, to me, that was just, like, it, it, for me, too, like, the bridge of heavy metal and yep. Yep. stuff yep. like that into horror. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, like, like you had pointed out, there, there's a, a lot of those that, like, are kind of, like, comedic, but scary and gruesome and they they kind of like blur the they blur the difference between the two mm-hmm. you know and, and it is a tough one like for like, sure like idle hands like, yeah. idle hands oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. actually yeah that, that was a great movie too yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, i guess horror movies are just there's so many of them and there's a <laughs> lot of bad ones i've seen a lot of bad ones some of them i yes. like like slashers is a total b movie it looked like a bunch of guys that just worked at a laser tag place and they made it. But I loved it because they they did with what they had. Yeah, yeah. They made it yeah. entertaining. But, um, but yeah. Uh, so Lost Boys, Evil Dead has been mentioned. Um, we still haven't got Poltergeist on here either. Fourteen oh eight Jaws, because uh, Jaws was only on your list. What what else did we have? Where it was both? I mean, I The Shining was alien, one. The Shining. This is tough. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, me and Rin had The Shining at two. I mean, The Shining's an amazing movie. This is what we go through when we rank discographies. <laughs> Man, I don't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. yeah. What's the best Morbid Angel? angel. Three, two, one, go. No. <laughs> What's the best Morbid Angel? What's well, Covenant? Well, it's, right, it's Covenant. Good man. <laughs> Alters of Madness is way up there. Yeah. You know, you know, I had a yeah. This fifth one's tough because it's almost like we're we're sifting through the leftovers that didn't fall into <laughs> slasher or zombie or ghost. Or, yeah. yeah. I mean, I I would still say Alien, but we had the thing on there. Does that necessarily feel like the space sci-fi void though? I don't I mean, know. It doesn't necessarily. Have, we don't have. I mean, we've kind of done that in where we're picking some yeah. of these. But I mean, that's well, like, you don't have to do that. In the shining, the shining's kind of slasher and kind of ghost. Yeah, yeah. The shining hits a lot of notes. You know, we didn't even mention Friday the Thirteenth, which is yeah, no, which is we mentioned Halloween. Yeah, but, well, yeah. yeah, and it is <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth. True. Yeah, it is yeah, so actually Friday the Thirteenth. Weird. Holy shit! Yeah. Weird. Weird. As we're doing this. Spoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm watching Friday the Thirteenth tonight. Yeah, I'll probably. Yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. I, I may watch the Lost Boys tonight, to be honest. With yeah, you. after Friday yeah, the Thirteenth. Yeah. About that. Right. Yeah. Although well, I, I like have the, a horror thaw this weekend. Shit. I hate to say it, but I like the Michael Bay Friday the Thirteenth. I really enjoyed That's that. That's not movie. a good movie. I. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like the kills in it. Shut up. No, oh, yeah. the kills are good, but yeah. I like the kills. <laughs> Man, it was better than Jason Takes Manhattan. Well, Whoa. he didn't yeah. take it. That was misleading. Yeah. yeah. He didn't take he just it. punched dude's head off. That was awesome. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> it came clean <laughs> off. And it went right in the dumpster, too, right? Yeah, but I do believe one it. One shot. It was clean. There wasn't even any blood spatter. Is it Freddy versus Jason where they're in space? No, no, that's yeah, Jason X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's movie is trash. Yeah. What I yes. will say in Awful. Jason Takes Manhattan, he kills somebody with a flying V. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that's pretty Holy metal. Shit. That's pretty, pretty metal. metal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've always looked at an ML and been like, or a stealth, and then you could really fucking kill somebody with this thing. <laughs> oh, definitely. I always, I always wanted to impale somebody with a warlock headstock. <laughs> <laughs> Take a warlock to a new meaning, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, hmm. really yeah, this is tough. Uh, um, personally, I think Shining 
Lost Boys or, uh, like he said, even Alien. I, I don't think either of those would be uh, bad. Maybe we I, could I, at least I, start I, narrowing it down. Really like it's 333. The internet demands. Dimebag. Dimebag. Um, the internet demands a list. Evil oh. Dead. Evil Dead. <laughs> I'm, you know that's... Evil Dead made my list, so. I'm going to go with The Shining. The because the, the ghost aspect, the isolation, psychological Yeah, this movie's terror. so fucking creepy. And then mm-hmm. Nicholson's and, a slasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautifully shot. But he only kills one person, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah Scatman Crothers. Yeah. 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 But what a kill. That's a pretty good kill. Yeah. It is a pretty good kill. Quality over quantity in that case, you know. I could go with The Shining. The yeah. Shining? I think, Shining? I think that's in, you know, that's, that's in Shining. the annals of history. Is a good horror flick. Yeah. Well, I penciled it in, or sharpied it in, rather. No, no, it's permanent. It's permanent. <laughs> uh, they can't change. People are going right. to <laughs> get a tattoo to my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. The five, the top five. We're ready to hear it off. Five, The Shining. Number four? Dawn of the Dead, 1978. Number three? The Thing. 1980. 1980. Number two was on your list. Uh, mine? Uh, it's Halloween. John Carpenter, 1978. <laughs> and numero uno, The Exorcist. That's a solid oh, list. Pursuit yeah. for it. the win. Pursuit for the Where <laughs> is our Bram Stoker horror award? <laughs> yeah, there you go. The definitive list from the Thralls crew. The top five horror movies. Again, we wanted to get you off with the with my holiday season. Yeah, that's. And I was a, like oh, the holiday. I was doing the intro. I was like, say, oh, we're gonna do yeah. the holidays. And Nick's like, oh. and when you say holiday, they're like, well, you know, those fucking Christmas lunatics. Yeah. Like, oh, no, it's going to snow and it's gonna, we're gonna put lights up. You're gonna annoy me. Wasn't Danielle talking about putting up the tree already? Oh God, down. no! Yeah, I saw that. I saw shut you shut that down. down. It's Thank fucking you. August. Yeah, the Thank air you. conditioner at sixty eight degrees does not constitute <laughs> Christmas tree. Up. I agree. I agree. That's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It's Halloween all year, always. Yeah, I love Halloween. I like Halloween lasts all month for me. And we again wanted to give you all uh, uh, something to start the October out with to give you some time. Hit these movies up. Oh, hit the other lists yes. up. Um, yeah. You know, and here we can go honorable, honorable, blah, 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 honorable, blah, 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 blah. the mentions. Yeah, I, I know. I had I mentioned some. Of my Rosemary's Baby was up on my nice. list for a while. Great movie. Yeah, um, like that one for guys. You know, we talked about Poltergeist a little bit, but even the first Psycho, 1960. Dude, if yeah. you if you watch that and you're not just <laughs> unsettled by Anthony Perkins' performance, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. it crawls. It crawls yeah, that's a, a that's an Arizona one too. So that like always hit home for me because. Um, Driving across I-10 out in the middle of the desert oh, and stopping at a random motel, <laughs> you could absolutely get murdered. <laughs> Take my word for it. Yeah, I went. I went to California a couple years ago, and we we drove back cross country to Ohio. But uh, Tommy and I stopped in a little town called Boron, California. You ever heard of Boron? No, I haven't. The middle of nowhere with nothing. <laughs> and they, exactly. they had a gas station at one point, but it was it was like a ghost town gas station. It was all burnt out, See, and like that was it. And some lady came walking up, and she was like, how can I help you guys? And we were like, <laughs> we're leaving. <laughs> we were like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm not even driving. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Wait, you know? well, this is the gas station. Yeah. That's also the mayor's office. If, wait, wait what? what? If I hear a chainsaw or a banjo, I'm out of here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, that that stretch between like Los Angeles and Phoenix is just no man's land. There's just like little desert towns uh, that like barely anyone lives in, and the people that do live in them are like usually not talkative, friendly. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Hill, yeah, Hills of Eyes was actually an honorable mention. I was gonna put on him. I just for the the desert horror, right, right. you know, like. Uh, we we my parents actually have like a uh, like a cabin ranch type thing uh, out in the desert, and uh, we used to just go like explore and stuff out there. And, like it is isolated Ooh, and not not quiet, and yep, yep. you see a lot of things in the sky at night. Hey. Like, 
stuff like that. So uh, yeah, like the the desert horror stuff really really hits me, uh, especially that like UFO highway type right. vibe right. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty big into the whole UFO alien thing. I, I'm fascinated with it. Um, yes, yeah, me and Ren have. I've had many a conversation. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. Have you been to Roswell by any chance? No. No. I want to. I want to go there. It's like very campy, but if if you ever get the chance, it is like something that is cool to do to go to the UFO museum and, and, and do stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, other honorable mentions for me would be. Um, Two of them off the top of my head were uh, Puppet Master. Wow. Oh, yeah. Witch Master was another Wish one. Another yeah. Yeah. one. Yeah. Wow. Um, I, I loved both of those movies. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. 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 And it's, it's, it's almost into the like crime like yeah. drama category, but it's definitely still horrifying. It's horrifying. horrifying. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, the all the Buffalo Bill scenes and, yeah. and yeah. Stuff like that are just horrible, and uh, oh, some of the dude. other like campier ones I love are like Motel Hell. Love Motel oh, Hell, dude. Yeah. The Pighead. <laughs> the one like Gate Gates of Hell is another good yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never uh, like, you squeezed out the brains from the back. Like that was the that was the yeah. fucking finishing move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, so the, those are some other good ones that I remember watching when I was a kid and stuff. Uh, Attacking the killer tomatoes and stuff uh, like yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, those, like, that. Yeah, really yeah. Was, oh, Toxie was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah, so bad. Like, was awesome. They're almost so bad they're good. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I, I definitely love stuff like that and uh, just just horror in general. It's it's a love of mine. I you know, like I said, I was watching uh, trying to watch it when I was like five <laughs> or six and stuff and. So technically, I've been in uh, horror even longer than I've been into metal and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it is a really yeah, uh, me too. You know, yeah, it's a, it is a big part of my life, and I started writing and doing stuff like that. So, like, it, it, you know, it is really cool to talk about it. It's it's nice to actually do an interview and not just talk about like my band or. Uh, yeah, living with my dad or whatever. Right, you know? right, right, right. <laughs> I knew that you were just by like reading some of the interviews that you've been on, you're really into horror movies and obviously you write books. I mean, yeah. uh, Negative Legend was uh, you that was last yeah. year, right? Yeah, which is on Amazon. Yeah. We'll have a link for that. Um, support a boy here. Yeah. It is on my wish list, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> on, <laughs> I wish you, have, you can see. Oh, nice. Uh, not for resale. This is the test. This was the first test press that I got. Oh, nice. That is but, awesome. Yeah, why is my camera so weird? There it is. There you go. <laughs> Negative Legend by me. It's a kidnapping story, I guess you could say, that gets into like a slasher supernatural type deal. Um, that's on Amazon. Uh, I think one of you mentioned. So mm-hmm. you can yeah. 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 All the viewers out there and stuff. But, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it is a passion of mine. Um, I definitely, uh, you know, don't pay the bills with my writing yet. So <laughs> I'm doing it from the heart and uh, I do it because I like it and, and whatnot. And I'm writing books right now, actually, like uh, in That's the moment awesome. during quarantine has actually really helped that and stuff. Sure. So, yeah. uh, I just been at home going mad, you know, over the keyboard. And I got a lot of cool stuff on the way. Um, yeah. So, but right now I have Negative Legend out. I have another one called Killing My Insomnia, uh, mm-hmm. which I briefly had mentioned earlier. Uh, both of those are on Amazon, so find them there. Check them out. Let me know what you think and leave yeah, a review yeah. or yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm not good. I'm not good at the whole promotional. <laughs> right. Thing. That's all right. Neither are we. Yeah, really. We fail in many aspects on that one, too. Yeah. So. You should sub our channel, maybe? Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch these guys. They're funny, and they, they know good metal. I see a gruesome shirt in, in, yeah. Uh, yeah. In, the, in the mix right now. My, my dad actually showed me you guys uh, after you guys had talked, and uh, we watched the review you did of Go Ahead and Die and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, no, like my, my dad was showing you guys, and uh, I thought you were super funny. Uh, we watched the review you did to Go Ahead and Die, uh, the album, and uh, thank you for, I think it got like a 9 or 9.5 oh, or something like that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'd still jam the shit out of it. Yep, yep, the overall tone of that record is nasty. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, yep. No, we, were, we were trying to just 
like give as as little fucks as possible <laughs> in terms of uh, the the sound and and being perfect and things like that. We wanted it to just be super aggressive and yeah, uh, seems yeah. to have done the trick. And yep. everyone yep. I've talked to that listened to it seems part. to enjoy it. So that's that's why I do it, man. I, I do it for for people to enjoy and, and to not go crazy you know yeah right, yeah, right. Yeah. That's, that's what music and books and movies and that's what it is uh i, I think this that, that's what this quarantine taught me is to appreciate those things and mm-hmm. uh, appreciate people who are making music and, and books and art because when you have nothing to do they're there to to keep you sane you yeah, know yeah. so uh, uh, you know thank your local artists and uh, thanks yeah. to you guys too for for oh, all that you do, just promoting and, and talking and doing that stuff. Uh, it really does mean a lot to us bands, uh, especially at this digital age when things have gotten harder for musicians and stuff. Sure, you know, yeah, it's, sure. uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's great to have uh, some guys that live and breathe it, like supporting it, you know. So thank you guys uh, uh, yeah, off yeah. the top of my head. And it was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I, I have a lot of things. Uh, coming out this year we had the go ahead and die thing uh i have an album with healing magic coming out later this year yeah, yeah we saw that be, uh, you guys are touring a small tour with healing magic right coming up soon uh, yeah, like we, next we, month, we, month we have a little thing yeah we have like some shows out west and uh we're, we're looking to do like a full u.s thing eventually uh and but it's still kind of in the works <laughs> um yeah you know like so many tours are already getting canceled again and stuff. Right, right. Yeah. 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 We're really, we're really we're, we're going yeah. to see Jungle Rot tomorrow night. That that's Oh nice. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. No, I gotta get up to Tampa and go catch a show sometime. I haven't I don't think I've been to a concert in over a year, so yeah, I'm going. I haven't been since like the day before lockdown or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So, uh, hey, I'm itching. You know, it sucks. <laughs> At the same time, it gave me the time to do all this stuff. It, it yeah. gave us the time to do and die. And um, yeah, like I said, we have a record coming out with Healing Magic. That'll actually be the first album of a four album story that we are kind of cool. Cool. creating. It's it's not horror, it's more in the fantasy, um, like high fantasy kind of right style. Right uh, as much as I love horror, I love Dungeons and Dragons and. Uh, Tolkien and stuff like that. Um, I'm just an all-around nerd, to be quite honest. <laughs> it, yeah. that, that happens in metal, I, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Healing, healing magic. Yeah, that's that's the first of a four-album thing that we're going to be doing. That's awesome, man. So, I didn't know that. So it'll be a concept uh, for, album. We're shooting for October. Right on. What was that? Sorry. Oh, I said so it'll be a, a concept. A yeah, concept yeah. Concept it's, it's a, uh, four concepts that will kind of like go together. Nice. Cool. Um, right. Hey, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Nerdy stuff. Uh, do me atmospheric music uh, as well. So and I'm keep sure your eyes we'll, out for that. We'll actually get all four. I'm like down. That only delivers on two. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I love you guys down. Like, all you guys are awesome. I'm just they have, joking. They have a live stream tonight. It would be nice to have three and four <laughs> eventually. No, they'll be coming. Uh, it'll it'll take some time, but they're coming. Uh, the like I said, the first one will be here soon. Um, otherwise, I'm just working on books, and uh, I don't think I'll have a book this year, but uh, probably next year I'll have another book out. Right on. And, nice. Awesome. And, uh, just kind of keep that train rolling, and um, I don't know. I'm always looking for suggestions if someone wants to make a movie of one of my books. So uh, if That's you're the out there step. watching, you right. have yeah, a yeah. couple million dollars laying around to right. make a movie. <laughs> yeah. I have like uh, twelve bucks. Yeah. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm up to, and uh, just staying busy, staying safe as well. Right. Yeah. 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 And we thank you for being on. And uh, if you guys like this, hit the uh, thumbs up. Give us some comments. What's your top five? Where did we screw up? Let's, right? you know, let's see this. Let's start the debate in the comics that 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 Nick will keep up with. I'll probably like you did. That's a good one too. Yeah. My picks don't suck. Okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get destroyed on the internet as we always do. I know. Oh, that's, that's the fun. Well. It'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be like our six feet under review. Yeah, oh. or my cannibal corpse. It's people, fine. people still yell at us. Yep. <laughs> Can't yeah. please. Yeah. 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 
And hey, stay in touch too, man. Yeah. When the records start dropping, let us know. We'll we'll uh, yeah. yeah, man. Get them reviewed yeah. for you. And, yeah. It'd be awesome to either talk again or, or do a oh, review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if if when when tours come back, hopefully see you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll plan on it for sure. Yeah, when you make it out, you know, out east, uh, there. Yeah. Uh, the north. I plan, like I said, red. We plan on going to Soulfly in Detroit area, and then I'll be at the one in Fort Wayne with uh, yeah. my son providing that. Uh, providing his own thing. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. But cool. Thank you so much uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for being on. And uh, everybody in Internet Land, thank you for mm-hmm. joining us. And. Uh, Hopefully you like the list. Like I said, subscribe. We got all the stuff down below. We have shirts. Blah 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 blah. You guys know the drill. But until <laughs> next time, I'm Miller, and we'll catch you later. Awesome. Bye guys. Later. later. Cheers, brother. See you, man. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah.